Okay. Wow. Y'all. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Latia B and welcome to my first video of 2021. Y'all, I am so pumped to be starting this year off on the right foot. And as promised in my last video of 2020, this is going to be a natural hair care related video. As you can see, I've already styled my hair, so I have my hair in flat twists and I had a perm rod on the ends to give it a nice little curl. But before I take my hair down, I wanna walk through the products that I use to wash my hair and also style my hair. Over on Instagram, I collaborated with a brand called Curlsmith. And I've actually seen this brand around, but I've never tried their products. So I was so happy and super excited to give them a try and collaborate with them on a sponsored Instagram post. And y'all, they hook your girl up. The products that I collaborated with them on to review over on Instagram are from their detox microbiome scalp system. This was actually perfect because with the new year, you know, you just want to start fresh, have a fresh scalp, fresh hair, fresh life, fresh everything. So this was actually the perfect kit to get my year started off right. Before I go any further, let me just tell you that this particular video is not sponsored by Curlsmith. I just figured that would be a great opportunity to talk more about the items in the detox kit along with the styling products that I use because I do have some thoughts on it you know Instagram you can really only say so much but in a YouTube video you can really really go into detail with what you feel about something so that's exactly what I wanted to do so again this video is not sponsored by them although they did send me these products for a sponsor collaboration over on Instagram the detox kit is a three-step process and the first product that you're supposed to use is their super slip prebiotic primer on the back of the box it says prebiotics are nutritive compounds that impact the activity of beneficial microorganisms and can help to increase the number of good bacteria. I'm going to go ahead and insert some clips over here on the side so you all can see my process while I wash my hair because I did record that footage obviously for my content on Instagram but I'm going to insert it here as well just so you can see how these products worked for me as I was washing my hair. The Super Slip Prebiotic Primer is actually a pre-wash treatment and it says that it's for all hair and scalp types. It's supposed to help balance the micro biome of your scalp, stimulate your hair follicles, and also protect and detangle. The key ingredients in the prebiotic primer include balanced prebiotics, fermented rice water, guarana extract, grated ginger root, dragon fruit juice, and torn wild nettle. The thing that I do really enjoy about the Curlsmith products is that they're all cruelty free, they have no sulfates and no silicones, they're vegan, and they're also free from other nasty ingredients. It says it on the box. So it says that it has zero spoons of sulfates, parabens, silicones, mineral oils, phthalates, or DEA. It's tested on friends and family, never on animals. It has high quality ingredients. It has effective and hardworking formulas. It's five star rated by thousands of curls and suitable for all hair types. Now, you know, when people say that something is suitable for all hair types, that isn't always the case because it's not always suitable for tighter curls. Surprisingly though, this probiotic primer actually felt very, very nice on my scalp. And you are supposed to detangle your hair as you apply this. So you massage into your scalp, work that in, and then work it down the length of your hair. So that's exactly what I did. And then I went ahead and I started to detangle, finger detangle, which is something that I rarely ever do. But this product did make it very easy for me to do that. The other thing that I like is that these products smell so bomb. As a matter of fact, when I opened the box, I'm not exactly sure which of the products that they sent me that I was smelling, but as soon as I opened up the big box that they sent, I was like, oh my gosh, what is that scent? <laughs> because it just smelled so amazing. The good thing is that fragrance is the very last ingredient on the ingredient list. So while it does smell extremely good, it's not an overpowering scent whatsoever. This actually kind of has like a sweet scent to it, but it's not like a fruity or artificial smelling sweet scent. I can't exactly put my finger on it, but it smells good, y'all. That's all I can really say is that it smells good. The second step in this kit is the Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic. On the back of the box, it says probiotics are good bacteria, microorganisms that support skin's natural barrier and control the microbiome. So when you use this product, you actually apply it right to your hair after applying the primer. So you don't rinse the primer out. 
So you wet your hair, apply the primer, after you've massaged it into your hair, or massaged it into your scalp rather, and down the length of your hair, and then detangle, then you go ahead and apply the wash and scrub detox probiotic. Now when it said wash and scrub, I thought that it was gonna have like some type of scrubbing particles in it, but surprisingly there weren't, so I'm not exactly sure where the scrubbing comes in. Maybe there's a, an ingredient in here that works like a scrub without being scrubby. I don't know if that even makes sense but yeah i didn't feel anything in here that would mess up your scalp because there are scalp scrubs and they have like the sugar granules or whatever type of granules that they have and that can cause micro tears in your skin so i do like the fact that this does not have any type of granules in it but i'm just not sure where the scrub comes in on the actual container it says that it is a clarifying scrub shampoo for all hair types again i will put an asterisk by that because it's it's kind of hard to say that something is for all hair types especially if you haven't tried it on all hair types and i don't know if they have or not but i'm just kind of like mm, whenever i see that on anything it doesn't matter what brand it is if it says for all hair types i kind of side eye it a little bit unless i see representation of all hair types but moving on this product is supposed to help control the microbiome exfoliate and clarify and also cleanse the key ingredients in the detox probiotic are probiotic cultures, apple cider vinegar, grated ginger root, dragon fruit juice, gentle scrub, wild nettle leaves, and guarana extract. I do have to say that I really enjoyed using this shampoo. At first when I applied it, I did not think that it was gonna lather up all that well, but then I added like a little bit of water to my hair and it lathered up so nicely. I also like the fact that it wasn't overly sudsy so it didn't take too long for me to rinse it out of my hair which is great especially on days where I just don't feel like taking forever to wash my hair. So I am definitely going to be using this wash and scrub detox probiotic again. The last product in this kit is the postbiotic calming conditioner. On the box it says postbiotics are the beneficial extracts produced by good bacteria. They are key to regulating the skin's microbiome. So after rinsing out the combination of the primer and the detox probiotic, you go ahead and apply the calming conditioner to your hair. It says that it is a cooling conditioner for all hair and scalp types, and it's supposed to soothe, hydrate, refresh, and balance the microbiome. Y'all, when they say cooling conditioner, they really mean that. I was surprised. First of all, I'm gonna be honest, I did not fully read the front of this packaging, so I didn't know that it was a cooling conditioner, but I knew that it had like some type of tingling because I felt like the peppermint oil that's in here and you know it gives like a tingling sensation on your scalp but when I was rinsing my hair it's like a I don't know it's just like a wave of coolness just came over my scalp and I was like oh this is interesting but in a good way like it felt so good on my scalp i can't even explain it all i could tell you is to try this conditioner because one it was super thick and i love a super thick conditioner i love that when i applied it to my hair it was so easy to work through my strands like it's almost as if the knots just melted away when I applied the conditioner. I already had gotten most of the tingles out from using the primer and the shampoo, but once I applied this conditioner, whatever knots were left definitely just melted away. The key ingredients in the common conditioner are balanced postbiotics, hyaluronic acid. If you're a skincare enthusiast, then you already know about hyaluronic acid and how it is a powerhouse to help plump your skin. So in your hair, it can help your hair to retain more moisture. It also it has a biotinoil complex, peppermint oil, lavender flowers, tea tree leaves, and pressed thyme oil. The other thing that I really, really enjoyed about this conditioner is that it only takes one to two minutes to work. Whereas, you know, with other rinse out conditioners, they do recommend that you leave it on for like three to five minutes, but sometimes you're just in a rush. And I figure by the time I'm done applying it to my whole head, it's time for me to rinse it out, which is great for those days when I don't feel like spending all day on wash day. So I'm definitely going to be putting this conditioner to use, if for nothing else, just for the cooling effect. Like I've never experienced that in a conditioner. I've tried conditioner conditioners with peppermint oil in it and you know it gives you kind of like a tingling sensation on your scalp but I've never had anything that created like a cooling sensation as you rinse it out. It is safe to say that I love this kit. I'm definitely going to be using it more often. I do plan to use it at least once a month like probably at the beginning of each month. Since today is December 30th I'll probably wait until February 1st to use it because I feel like this was a nice reset to bring in the new year. If you decide to try 
anything from this kit. I don't know if they sell these items separately, but if they do, definitely recommend this conditioner. Although I really did enjoy using all three of these products. And I'm not just saying that either, because if they were trash, I would definitely let you guys know, but I enjoyed them. Now moving on to the styling products. They sent me quite a few styling items and I cannot wait to try the ones that I did not get a chance to try today. The first one that I did not get to try today is the In Shower Style Fixer. This is a styling gel for curly and wavy hair. It says that it has strong hold, high definition, and anti-frizz. The next product that I did not use today is the Hold Me Softly Style Balm. It says that this is a styling cream for curly and wavy hair, and it is supposed to define, bounce, has a soft hold, and improves elasticity. The last thing that I did not use today is the Curl Defining Styling Souffle. It says that this is a styling gel for curly or wavy hair, and it's supposed to enhance your curls, be anti-frizz, and also provide bounce. All three of the products that I just showed you are from their moisture recipe line. And the two products that I use to style my hair today are from the scalp recipe line, just like the detox kit that I showed you earlier. The first product that I use on my hair is the weightless air dry cream. And this is a leave-in conditioner for all hair types. Now, I'm gonna get into that in just a moment. So it says that this is easy, dry, smooths and softens the hair and seals the cuticles. The hand-picked ingredients are wild maru maru, babasu seed oil, hyaluronic acid, organic ginger, raw dragon fruit, organic nettle, and silky castor oil. Another thing that I just noticed about the packaging of the scalp recipe line is that it tells you a little bit about buildup. Layering styling products will ensure your curls are popping throughout the week. Y'all, they do say popping with a G, but you know. But they may accumulate on your scalp and prevent it from breathing. We have formulated our leave-in conditioner to be super lightweight, giving the moisture you deserve without any of the buildup. I do like that about this line because sometimes I can be a little heavy-handed with applying my product. I was actually pretty heavy hands when I applied my products today. But because it's so light, I think that's why I was adding so much because I was like, oh, is this enough product for my hair? Because I have thick curly hair and it takes a lot for my hair to actually be moisturized and just feel good whenever I apply my leave-in. So although it says that it's a leave-in conditioner for all hair types, if you have thicker hair, if you have more coily hair than me, curly hair, if you have drier hair, then this may not be for you. I will have to research to see if I can find anyone with type 4 hair who has tried this product and has had success because I kind of felt like it was almost not going to work for me because it just didn't have as much slip as I like for my leave-in conditioners to have and it didn't have as much like moisturizing mist. I don't even know how to describe it, but you know, if you do, if you have natural hair and you do your own hair, when you have a leave-in and you like do like this with your fingers, you can tell if your hair is gonna, you know, receive it well or not. And I almost thought that this was gonna be a fail for me. Well, I actually don't know if it's gonna be a fail for me because I haven't taken my hair down yet. But I will say that once I actually worked it through my hair and detangled my hair, my hair did feel pretty good. The second product that I used to layer on top of the leave-in conditioner is the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. This is a styling gel for curly and wavy hair. It has a medium hold, is lightweight, and gives airy definition. The hand-picked ingredients are hyaluronic acid, green tea brew, thyme leaf oil, white cedar, mashed amla, and lavender flowers. This gel felt very nice when I applied it to my hair, especially layering it on top of that leave-in conditioner. I could tell as I was flat twisting my hair that I was gonna have like a light and airy and just bouncy results, which I'm crossing my fingers and really hoping for. But looking at my hair I feel like that holds true and it says that it has a seven weightless hold and my hair does not have a cast on it but we'll see what the definition is like once I actually take my flat twist down now let's go ahead and take my hair down to see how it turns out and then I will give my final thoughts on the curlsmith products that I tried for this wash day I'm actually a little nervous because usually I oil my hands when I take my hair down so maybe I'll try to take one down and if it looks like it's going south and then I'll add some oil to my hands. My hair is a tad bit damp, but because I really want to finish this video, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking my hair down. I actually may just go ahead and take it down and then blow dry it before I separate. But so far the definition looks pretty nice. It's definitely going to be bouncy, which is what I really like. I really love volume and I actually prefer volume over definition maybe i'll have a nice combination of both 
Okay, Carl Smith. You might you might be on to something. Wow. Yeah. I thought my hair was going to look crazy because it wasn't dry all the way. But can we get into this volume? I don't even have to separate or pick my hair or anything like that. My hair just fell perfectly how I wanted it to fall. And I'm pumped. I honestly didn't know what to expect because my hair can be real sometimey whenever I take it down and it's still damp. It's low-key giving me like wash and go vibes. And I'm not mad at that or whatsoever. Like my volume is on 10. No, it's on 100. Nah, it's on a thousand. Like my volume is giving me so much life, y'all. I love my hair. Too bad I don't have anywhere to go. I can't stop smiling because it just looks so good. And I just feel... I feel so good because I feel like I'm getting back to feeling like myself and seeing myself right now with my big hair, makeup done and just looking good, feeling good is this is what I needed. This is exactly what I needed to start the year off right. I can definitely tell that had I allowed it to dry completely, the definition would have been amazing. So my final thoughts on these Curl Smith products, my reaction probably already tells you I'm in love with them. I was so nervous of how my hair was gonna, you know, turn out using that leave-in conditioner with it not being a thick, creamy consistency, but that lightweight, airy consistency was very nice to give me all of this volume because my hair is not weighed down. And I was gonna go in with my diffuser, but I kinda don't think there's a point because it's already 7.30 and I'm gonna be wrapping my hair up soon, so I'm probably just gonna retwist my hair for the night and that way it can dry completely by the morning and if I fill up to it I'll come back on camera and show you guys what my hair looks like once it is completely completely dry but as it is right now I would definitely rock this on a scale from 1 to 10 what would I rate the detox line and the styling product that I use today I would probably give it like a good nine. Like it did everything that it said it was gonna do. As far as delivering on their promises and having your hair feeling lightweight, my scalp does feel like it's able to breathe. There's nothing really on my scalp. They definitely delivered on that and I'm definitely in love with the way that my hair turned out. So I'm gonna give it a solid nine. The only reason why I'm not giving it a 10 is because I hardly ever give anything a 10. A nine is very, very good. These products are so dazzling approved. So if you are in the market for something to help detox, clarify your scalp, clarify your hair, definitely look into the Curl Smith product. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it, y'all. I am just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to get back to recording. I know I said that in my last video, but I'm saying it again because I'm just super, super pumped and I cannot wait to share with you all everything that I have in store for 2021. My goal for this this year I don't think I said it in my last video but in the event that I didn't my goal for this year is to get between like 7 to 10k subscribers on my channel now I know that seems like a lot considering I'm only at 3k right now but I do know that I have to put in the work to actually get those subscribers so yeah if you're not subscribed and you enjoyed watching this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the so dazzling fam but anyway, you guys, I'm going to stop rambling now because I'm just super excited and I'm going to continue to talk. <laughs> so I will see you in my next video and do not forget to stay dazzling. Over on Instagram, I cre over on Instagram, I create. Oh my gosh, why do I keep wanting to say create? Thick, 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 thick. I don't even know how that song goes, honestly, but that's my rendition of it. <laughs> perfect. My hair is perfection. You can't tell me otherwise because I know my hair is perfect and I love it. It's perfect for me. May not be perfect for you, but <laughs> it's perfect for me.